Okay. Good afternoon, student. Now, day before yesterday, we have said how to solve the irrational number and rational numbers examples. So, this is the word identity root a plus root b in the other bracket root c plus root b. So, this we have to solve by using the formula. So, we have to multiply root a to root c. So, root a into bracket root c plus root d plus root b into bracket root c plus root d. So, here a into c that is root a c plus root a into b that is root a d plus root b into c that is root b c and root b into d that is root b d. So in this way we can solve this identity by multiplying each term in the one bracket to the other term. So root a into root c. We can multiply the into bracket root a c a into b that is root a d plus root b into root c that is root b c root b into root that is root b d. So this is one identity which we can use for solving the example. Now we we'll see the next identity which is useful for solving these rational numbers examples. Now next identity is root a plus root b bracket square. Already in the 8th standard you have read a plus b bracket square. So this is solved as a square plus term square plus multiplication of a and b and double of that that is 2ab and plus b square. So same formula we have to use here. Root a square is first term square. So root a square plus 2 into multiplication of this and this term that is root a into root b and plus the square of the last term that is root b square. So according to this identity we have solved this first term square that is a square multiplication of these two terms that is 2ab plus last term square. So root a square plus 2 times a into b that is root a into root b plus root b square. Now square of the root is always that number so that is a plus multiplication of root a into b that is 2 root ab and square of the root that is comes b. So root a plus root b square is equal to a plus 2 root ab plus b. In this way we can solve any ident any example which is based on this identity. Now one more identity we will see. The third is the third identity is a plus root b into a minus root b. Now in the both the bracket the numbers are same. So identity is a plus b which you are knowing and a minus b. So this will become a square minus b square. This is the identity which we have studied in the 8th standard. Now according to that square of the first term this a is term same, root b term same, only the signs are different. So square of the first term that is a square minus square of the second term that is root b square. So square of the a is a square minus square of the number which is in the root that is coming same. So expansion of this identity is a square minus b. So in this way we use the different identities which we have solved or which we have studied in the last year in the 8th standard and we can solve the different examples based on the rational and irrational number. Now we will go further to the solving the examples on this rational number. So first is IU root 7 example and in the other bracket 2 plus root 5. So now this is we have to solve the first bracket 5 plus root 7, the second bracket 2 plus root 5. Now 
from every term in the first bracket we have to multiply to the every term in the second bracket so first term in the bracket is 5 into bracket 2 plus root 5 now second term is plus root 7 into bracket 2 plus root 5 in this way from first brackets which are terms are there that by this term we have multiplied every term in the second bracket now multiplication you are knowing 5 to the 10 now this is rational number and this is irrational number so we cannot multiply that we have to write like this this will come outside 5 root 5 then here also this is irrational number this is rational number so we cannot multiply so we have to write 2 root 7 2 will come outside root 7 will come inside now here both are, the, both are in the root so we can multiply because both are irrational numbers so 7 5 the 35 so last term is root 35 once again see 5 and 2 both are rational numbers so 5 to the 10 this is rational this is irrational so we cannot multiply so we have to write 5 root 5 root 7 into 2 this is irrational this is rational so we cannot multiply 2 root 7 but this is both are in the root so 7 5 the 35 root 35 now here no any common terms are there here 10 then here 5 root 5 then here 2 root 7 and here root 35 so there is no any common term in the example means here we cannot any like term is there like term you are knowing so no any like term is there so answer of this expansion is 10 plus 5 root 5 plus 2 root 7 plus root 35 now we see next where the like terms are coming here so you can understand how to add or subtract the given like terms in the example now next we will see root 3 plus root 7 bracket square root 3 plus root 7 bracket square now we will try to solve this first the identity is a plus b bracket square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square this identity we have to use for this because this is a this is b and bracket square so according to that the first term is root 3 so root 3 square plus multiplication of these two terms so now both are irrational so we can multiply 3 7 the 21 root 21 and 2 times plus root 7 square last term square so root 7 square see first term square so root 3 square multiplication of this and this term root 3 to root 7 that is root 21 and double of that so 2 root 2 root 21 the square of the last term so root 7 square so in this way we have solved the first step now you have to remember when square of root is there the square is only that number so that is 3 plus here we cannot do anything 2 root 21 and plus again the square of the root then only that number is there so that is 7 and now if you see this 3 and 7 they are rational numbers so that is like term so that we can add, we cannot add this to root 21 because that is different. So we can add this 7 plus 3, that is 10 plus 2 root 21. In this way, in the example, if like terms are there, then we can add that term and write the answer. Now further, there is no any simplification in there because this is root 21 and this is 10. So they are not, this is rational, this is irrational. So we cannot add that. In this way, we have to solve the examples based on the rational numbers now we see the next third one i will write the identity on that side which identity we are using for solving that example now next is 5 root 5 in second bracket 5 minus root 5 so this we have to solve now 5 root 5 and 5 minus root 5 now this is a plus b and this is a minus b so identity we are using a plus b a minus b 
Direct it is a square minus b square. Both the terms are same, but there one is positive in the bracket and other is negative. So we are using the identity a square minus b square. So it is equal to square of the first term that is 5 square minus square of the last term that is second term that is root 5 square. A is 5, b is root 5. Both terms are same, only signs are different plus and minus. So a square minus square of the first term 5 square minus square of the last term root 5 square. So square of the 5 is 25 minus, I am taking from last example, where the square of the root number is there, the answer is that number itself, so 25 minus 5, and here both are rational numbers, so we can subtract, answer is 25 minus 5 is 20, so we have used here the identity a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square, so by using the different identities, we can solve the rational and irrational numbers multiplication or any operation on that. Now next we will solve. Eleven. The next example we solve now from here. Eleven minus root seven in the second bracket. Eleven plus root seven. So, this is the same way, 11 minus root 7, 11 plus root 7, here A is 11, B is root 7, here the terms are same, only here negative and here positive, means your identity which you are going to solve, that is same, A minus B, second bracket, A plus B, so terms in the brackets are same, and only negative and positive signs are there, so answer is A square minus B square, so same, identity we have to use here value of a is 11 so 11 square minus b square that is root 7 square so it will come 11 square is 121 minus this remember when square of the root is there that what is the number in the root that is only square so 120 minus 7 and 120 minus 7 is 140. So, by using the identity, we have solved this a minus b, a plus b, answer is a square minus b square, square of the first term that is 11 square minus square of the last term that is root 7 square. So, 11 square is 121 minus root 7 square. The square of the root term is that number itself only, so that is 7 and 120 minus 7 is 140. So in this way we are we can solve the different examples based on the rational number and irrational numbers. Now next we'll see the examples from exercise. We'll see the examples from exam from exercise 1.5 your exercise 1.5 from that second example from that we will solve the examples now there is a second example in which simplify each of the following you have to do simplification of the rational number that we see 3 plus root 3 in second bracket 2 plus root 2, 3 plus root 3 and in second bracket 2 plus root 2. So these both terms are different here, 3, 2 means we have to do the multiplication of each term in the first bracket to second bracket because there is no any common in that. So first term in the first bracket is 3 into second bracket that is 2 plus root 2. Then second term is plus root 3. Again, all the term in the second bracket that is 2 plus root 2. We are using this because there is no any common in that. If commons are there, then we can use that entity. We have to multiply every term in the first bracket to the every term in the second bracket. So 3 into bracket 2 plus root 2, root 3 into bracket 2 plus root 2. Now we multiply by 3 to the first term, 3 to the 6. 
No, this is rational number, this is irrational number. So we cannot multiply. So this is 3 will come outside and root 2. Because they are not same numbers. Means this is rational and this is irrational. Here also same. Root 3 multiplied by 2. Here 2 is rational and this is rational. We cannot multiply. So 2 we have to write outside to root 3. And last, now this root 3 and root 2 they are irrational so we can multiply 3 into 2 that is root 6 so 3 into 2 that is 6 3 into root 2 that is 3 root 2 root 3 into 2 that is 2 root 3 and root 3 into root 2 that is root 6 here we can take multiplication because both have root here one have root one don't have root so we are written 2 root 3 now which is the like term that we have to add now here there is no any like term here 6 is there, here 3 root 2 is there, here 2 root 2 is there, here plus root 6 is there. So there is no any like term, so we cannot add or subtract. So answer of this expansion is 6 plus 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 plus root 6. Now next we see from the second example of the exercise 1.5. The second example is root 5. plus two bracket square. Now here we can use the identity root 5 plus root 2 bracket square. Here value of a is root 5, value of b is root 2 and it's square. So your identity will be a plus b bracket square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. This identity we have to use a plus b bracket square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So your value of a is root 5. So root 5 square plus value of second term is 2 into ab. So here a is root 5 and root 2. Both are irrational numbers so we can multiply root 5 into root 2. And 2 times of e, so that is 2. And last term b square, so that is root 2 square. Square of the first term root 5 square, multiplication of a and b, that is root 5 into root 2, double of that, so 2. And again last term square, so root 2 square. Now I told behind this in the previous example, the square of the root will be the same number. So root 5 square is 5. Here both are irrational numbers, so we can multiply 5 to the 10. So 2 root 10 plus root 2 square, square of the root term will be the same number, so it is 2. So in this way now 5 and 2, these are rational numbers that we can add. But we cannot add this because along with 2 root 10 is there. So these two we cannot add this. So 5 plus 2, that is 7 plus 2 root 10. 7 plus 2 root 10 is the answer of this expansion. Square of the first term, multiplication of both the terms, double of that, the square of the last term. When square we are making of the root number, the answer is same number, 5. Here both are irrational numbers, so 5 into 2, that is root 10 outside 2. Square of the root term is same number, 2. 5 by 2 is rational number so that can be added 5 plus 2 7 plus 2 root 10 in this way we can simplify the a plus b bracket square identity by using this now one or two more examples we solve from this so we can get the clear idea of how solving these examples now next is 3 plus root 3 and 3 minus root 3. The next is 3 plus root 3 and 3 minus root 3. Now if this is A, this is B, this is A, this is B. So now we can understand the terms in the brackets are same, only the signs are different here, positive and negative. So we can use the identity A minus B and A plus B 
is equal to f square minus b square. This is the identity we can use. So, square of the first term, this is a, this is b, this is a, this is b. Your plus sign is there, your minus sign is there. So, we can use that identity a minus b into a plus b is equal to f square minus b square. So, value of a is 3, 3 square minus square of the second term, that is b term, that is root 3 square. So, 3 square is 9, square of 3 is 9, and root 3 square, when the number is in the rooted square we are making, the answer is that number itself, so 9 minus 3, and 9 minus 3, that is 6. So, in this way, the expansion of these two bracket, answer is 6. A square minus B square is the identity A minus B, A plus B. By using that square of the first term, that is 3 square, minus square of the last term, that is root 3 square. So, 3 square is 9, root 3 square, when number is in the root, its square is taken as the same number in the root, that is 3. So, 9 minus 3 is 6. In this way, we can solve the using this identity 3a minus b and a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. Now, next example we see. That is based on this identity only. I u minus root 2 in second bracket I u plus root 2 this is the next example, phi u minus root 2 and phi u, phi u minus root 2 and phi u plus root 2. So we can make root phi u minus root 2 and root phi u plus 2. So now here, here value of a is root phi u, value of b is root 2, here minus sign is there, here plus sign is there. We term in the first bracket, term in the second bracket are same, only the signs are opposite. So again the same identity we have to use, that is a minus b into a plus b. So answer is a square minus b square. The answer of this multiplication is a square minus b square. Now by using that we solve value of a is root 5. If you are not understanding, we can write like this. a is equal to root 5 and b is equal to root 2. So, answer is a square minus b square. So, a square means root 5 square minus root 2 square. So, root 5 square, when the number is in the root, is square is taken as the same number, 5 and square of this that is minus pi u minus 2. So pi u minus 2 is 3, which is the rational number. So in this way, we by using this identity, we can solve the example directly a square minus b square. Square of the first term that is root 5 square, square of the second term that is root 2 square. So square of the term in the root is same number, pi u. Square of the number in the root is same number pi u minus 2 that is 3. So in this way we can solve the different examples relating with the rational and irrational number. I think you have understand how we have to use this property, this identity to solve this. Thank you.